A community radio broadcasting through a bucket has been set up in Abel Sub County, Oyam District. The bucket houses a transmitter, a phone and a solar panel as its power source. So it's taken us a bit of time, but not to figure out the technology, but mostly to work around the social and licensing aspects. This is a new idea, so everyone you speak to about it will always have questions and they'll have challenges. And so it's taken us a bit of time for us to work around those challenges, to make sure that people's concerns are catered for, to explain this to the regulatory authorities. The radio at the grassroots, Root IO, is one of the resilience projects Makere University School of Public Health is setting up to enable communities access a free and cheap medium of communication for bridging information disparity. A Dean Makere University School of Public Health, Professor William Bazeo, promised continuous support to communities for better service delivery. This was in a speech read for him by Harriet Adong, a communications manager, Resilient Africa Network. Let us all work to support and transform this community. Adon. Let us reproduce Rutio in other communities when they are learning from a bear subcount. The officer in charge, Abel's police post, Kennedy Okello, pledged to render full security towards their grassroots community radio and asked residents of Abel subcounty to jealously guard their radio and use it effectively. <laughs> Let us use the radio to bring development. Uh, the criminals, through the radio, we are going to reach you. Abel has had the first grassroots community radio, but Agago. Amuru and Kitigum are also said to have a similar facility to facilitate effective communication among its people. The establishment of the four radio stations has been budgeted to cost 75,000 US dollars. Idris Lukwago reporting for UBC News.